Today we will be taking your sketches and redrawing them on our watercolor paper for your watercolor paintings. Watercolor paper is a little thicker and it's very special paper because it works very well with watercolors. It won't fall apart when it's wet, so it's really important that we use this paper instead of the sketching paper. When you start your sketch, you want to make sure you can see the sketch that you made before. And you want to draw very lightly with pencil. We really don't want to be able to see much of the pencil marks when you're done with your painting. This is just a guide for you when you start your painting. So draw really lightly and erase any mistakes as you go. As I'm drawing this, I want you to look carefully and see how many different ways I used to show depth. Did I use overlapping? Did I use placement? Or did I use size? As you're drawing, feel free to change things from your sketch into this final drawing. You can add different parts, take away parts, change it and make it look completely different if you really want to or if you're feeling brave. You don't have to stick to the sketch that you made a couple days ago. That was just practice and is just for your reference. While you're drawing, make sure that you don't color anything in with your pencil. All the color and value is going to be done with watercolor, so we just want to do a line drawing. If you accidentally do, that's okay. Just erase it and redraw it using only pencil lines. So here's my finished drawing. It's just pencil lines, and I made sure that I was showing a lot of depth. I hope you have as much fun as Alfie did playing in the tub this morning. Thanks for watching. Bye!